If you jump into the North Sea, you might not expect to see very much, but, uh, but then you'll see shoals of pollock and coley. Pouting is a very beautiful fish, and they're often found around stones underwater or around wrecks. And then there are conger eels and, and wolf fish that hang out in hollows. So it's, it's really quite a, a beautiful place with a, a, an extraordinary variety of life. The seabed is covered in all sorts of things. Seaweed forests down to uh, 15 meters. There are a whole bunch of encrusting organisms that live on the bottom, so sponges, sea nettles, hydroids, bryozoans, a whole range of different things. Well, if you were to go back to the beginning of the 19th century, what you'd find would be completely different from what we have today. The, the fishermen who are working offshore in those days were catching huge catches of enormous fish with much less fishing effort than we have to use today. Enormous skates. Skates were landed by the barrow load into the ports along the Yorkshire coast. Halibut, huge halibut, a great turbot as well. The, the sea was absolutely jumping full of fish. We've seen the loss of many of the big fish that used to be around in the beginning of the 19th century. And the simple reason for that is that there was an awful lot more fish in the sea. And what's happened over two centuries of industrial fishing is that we've depleted fish stocks a very long way. And we've also ended up damaging the, the bottom habitats in the process. We've done a great deal of destruction to the, the seabed in the North Sea. So large areas are now just shifting sands and gravel and mud, rather than being crusted with this uh, living carpet of invertebrate life, all the sponges, sea fans, uh, coralline algae, the merle, and much of the seabed has been stripped of its life. So there has been a transition, and the wildlife value of the North Sea is not what it used to be. That's not to say there isn't still beautiful life to be had in, in the uh, waters of the Yorkshire coast and uh, it, it really is still a place where you can see a great deal of life but it could be much better if we were to implement more protection and start to really have an ambition to recover some of the things that have been lost. Marine conservation zones are necessary because uh, we've lost so much in the way of the, the wildlife in the North Sea. So by creating marine conservation zones, we can help to kickstart a recovery for marine life, uh, and especially life that's on the seabed. So what we really need in these marine conservation zones is genuine protection from exploitation and harm. And if we get that, then there's a, a much brighter future for life in the North Sea.